Hey everyone, uh, welcome to your weekly sun sign horoscope for the week of July 28th to August 4th of 2022. Again, this can apply to not just your sun, but your moon and your rising as well, so make sure to watch those videos too. Um, so this week we have the new moon in Leo, as well as the huge triple conjunction in Taurus happening on Sunday. Um, we also have Jupiter retrograde happening this week, and I'm going to pull an extra oracle card just for that for you and your sign, so be on the lookout for that at the end. I will still be pulling the regular card as well. One other announcement I would like to make is I'm going to start live streaming on Twitch um, every Sunday, hopefully around 8 p.m., um, going over the astrology for the coming week from Sunday onward, and also to create some more interaction, and um, if anybody has any questions, anything like that. So again, links will be in the description. Um, with that all being said, let's get into the charts for your sign. Hey Sagittarius, how are you this week? So, this new moon in Leo is going to be happening for you in your ninth house. So this is very much areas of, you know, expansion, beliefs, um, higher knowledge, higher learning. I feel like this is more expanding in the areas of, of love, of self-expression, of playfulness, of having fun, right? And it's trying this Jupiter that is in your fifth house. So again, there's these aspects of love, unconditional love, having fun, and this is with yourself. Um, or dealing with aspects of yourself and your independence. So Jupiter is also going retrograde on this day as well. And with that happening in your fifth house, again, this is, this is going over old grounds of, you know, where, where you need to expand and where you may receive more gifts in terms of love, unconditional love, self-expression. Like all of that kind of stuff. This is very, this is very big energy for you in that regard. Of course, you know, you are the sign of, you know, expansion of big things, of a lot of options, right? This may be dealing with lots of options in terms of love, lots of options for you in terms of like what you want, what you love. This could even deal with people, right? So, yeah, this is just definitely just ex trying to expand on these aspects and also healing in this regard. This is healing yourself in terms of, you know, your expansion and understanding where you need to expand and move into these areas of your life. <coughs> so also happening on this day is Mercury square Uranus in the notes. It's happening in your 12th and 6th house. So with Uranus here in your 6th house, this is dealing in regards to your day-to-day -day life. Where do you want to take your day-to-day -day life that's going to feel, that's going to make you feel good? Like, what, what new routines, what new schedules, what things are going to make you feel better, get you the abundance and the things that you want in your life? We have Uranus here. Remember, it's in square. So what do you need to change? What do you need, what do you need to think about? What do you need to communicate? What do you need to express? What do you need to expand on in your mind? What new beliefs do you have to have in your mind to, to kind of attain this, this new direction in terms of your day-to-day -day life. And of course, this deals with aspects of what's going to make you happy, right? What's going to make you happy what, in, in this expression of self to help to move you forward into this direction, right? You, you want to transmute these, these old fears, these old like secrets and stuff, icky stuff that needs to go in order to move forward into a better, more abundant day-to-day -day schedule that's going to bring you the life that you want. If we move on to Saturday here, we also have Mercury opposed Saturn. So this is happening in your third house and your ninth house. So again, there's an expansion of certain aspects of communication here, but Saturn's also restricting this when your third house. There's a certain lesson here. Maybe you need to make the right connections. Maybe, you know, you need to be more, more expansive and free in what, you, what you're communicating with people. I mean, you're a very, Sagittarius, you're a very positive person, very, you know, outgoing in that sense. But this, there may be certain lessons here in regards to maybe certain restrictions of mind, restrictions of communication. But 
You want that self-expression. You want to expand in that area. And Saturn's here trying to teach you maybe there's some unique aspect of yourself which you need to learn to express here. Then we head on to Sunday where it's kind of the big action day. So again, we have this Sun in Leo trine Jupiter. So this is big energy. This is very benevolent energy. And again, this is happening in your fifth and ninth house. So where do you need to expand in terms of love? in terms of self-expression, in terms of all of that. But again, this is a very positive energy, and this should be coming at you in this way. Also on this day, we have Venus square Chiron. Chiron is in your fifth house. You may have wounds in terms of love, wounds in terms of self-expression, right? And again, this is Venus in the eighth house. It's helping to heal and transform this. This could be nurturing, nurturing, nurturing certain desires in this area. This is very, very much healing, especially in terms of your relationships being in the eighth house. This could have to do with sexual relationships as well. Um, yeah, and again, Venus here is sextile. These nodes, this is the direction. Dealing with the direction in which you want to go in within your day-to-day -day life to get you, to get you the life that you want. But for some reason that has some aspect to do, you know, you need to heal, you need to heal aspects of yourself. You need to be more, more nurtured in terms of that self-expression and love so that you can push forward in your own unique way in your day-to-day -day life to get the life that you want. Which of course leads to the triple conjunction here that is happening in your sixth house. So this is definitely, you're moving in a new direction in your daily schedule, your day-to-day -day life. And you're trying to build up a new place, build up new abundance, and go in a, in a, into a place that's going to make you feel good and more abundant in that regard, instead of being stuck in kind of the icky old, the icky old way. If we move on now here to Thursday, we're going to have Mercury ingress your 10th house. So again, this is dealing with, we're going to be dealing more with aspects of your career here, your goals. And it's going to be analyzing them, communicating them, going over kind of that stuff. And again, more of, more of this kind of like day-to-day -day Virgo ish stuff to, you know, which helped move you and push you in this new direction. Anyways, let's pull some cards for you, Sagittarius. Hey, Sag, let's pull some cards for you. So we're pulling again uh, one card for you this week, as well as... Um, one card to represent the Jupiter retrograde for you and your sign. And for that, we'll be using the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle card deck. But first, we will pull a tarot card for you for this week. So, what does the universe have for Sagittarius this week? The universe have for Sagittarius this week. What does the universe have for Sagittarius this week? Oh, it's taken a while for you here, Sag. What does the universe have for Sagittarius this week? Come on. What does the universe have for Sagittarius this week? Oh man, what is, come on, one card. Sagittarius this week. What does the universe have for Sagittarius this week? Come on. There we go. I have the High Priestess. So, intuition, wisdom, and patience. So, I'm somewhat feeling more drawn to the wisdom aspect of this, as a lot of this stuff, especially this new moon, is happening in your ninth house. It's this expansion of this higher wisdom, this higher energy. And again, using that and expressing that to kind of help you balance out and also move forward into the direction that you want to move forward in. 
to listen to your intuition and listen to your uh, the higher knowledge that you natively have access to. All right, let's pull a card for Jupiter retrograde for you. Okay, so Jupiter retrograde for Sagittarius. What does the universe want you to do? The Jupiter retrograde for Sagittarius. What does the universe want you to do? the universe have for Sag or Jupiter retrograde? Jupiter retrograde for Sagittarius. Consult a nutritionist. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal health and weight. So I feel like this almost seems like with Jupiter um, in your fifth house, this is kind of more so like doing what you love. I feel like this is more like eating what you love. So it's to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and supportive. So it's not only supportive of you, um, in this expansion and healing of yourself, but also something that's going to, it's going to feel good for you. All right. Okay, Satch. Have a good week. Hey everyone, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, uh, please sure to, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, interact in any way. Engagement really helps the performance of the video and it helps me out. Um... And also, if you have any feedback, be sure to leave a comment, because I'm interested to know what people think of these videos. Uh, with that being said, um, again, all links are in the description. If you want to follow me on social media, or go to my website, or get any readings with me at all, and be sure to, be sure to check the video for um, not just your sun, but your moon and rising as well. Thanks, guys. Have a good week. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.